shout out to all of my people who are on their healing journey. I respect that and I'm going to always encourage that. I am happy for you and I am grateful that you had the strength to journey along that path. It is not an easy one because what you're used to isn't working. So you want to you want to get on a more healthy path to the way that you live your life. I get it. I love it. I support it. I'm never going to not encourage somebody to move in that direction. But I got to talk to y'all for a minute because I've been noticing some type of pattern with some of you. It looks a lot like projecting. And what's happening is you treat people as if the things that hurt you or the things that bother you or the things that rub you the wrong way or trigger you. You treat people as if those same exact things have to bother us and trigger us and hurt us. Just as myself and other people can respect and understand your healing journey and your healing process, it would be nice if that energy was reciprocated to people like myself who have been on our journey of growth and evolution and, and, and awareness for the past 20-something years. It would be nice if you could also respect that fact. Because for somebody who's been in tune with themselves, somebody who's been aware of, okay, this is what I'm thinking, this is what I'm feeling, this is why I get it. Somebody who's been doing that for a really, really long time. It's just natural to just be an understanding person. It's natural to not act irrationally towards things that you just need to be calm about. So some of us are already there, you know, and some of us are closer than others. But I need my people who are on their healing journey to have some respect for us being able to understand things differently or us not being able to or us being able to not be offended by everything or not be angry towards everybody some of us have been there so I'm asking you guys to like please respect those of us who are either nearing the end of our journey or we've already been on the journey so we're in tune just be respectful to the people who are deeply aware of who they are because the things that like the things that bother you can make me laugh. Or the things that make you angry will make me curious. And I just need my people on that healing journey to understand that. Stay on your path. Stay on your goals. But I don't want you guys out here losing focus on your own path because... You want other people to feel the way that you feel about stuff, even though we don't. And people don't have to feel how you feel about things. People are allowed to have like their own feelings and thoughts and their emotions, and that's okay. But I want y'all to not try to attempt to make people feel bad because they're not crying or they're not upset about situations that you would cry and be upset about. So I just want to bring that understanding together for all of us to understand that some of us are, are, are fine. Some of us are actually perfectly okay. We're not saying we're perfect human beings, but we've learned a lot over the last 20 years. So when I don't cry because something doesn't make me sad, but you cry because it makes you sad, or you feel hurt because it made you hurt, but I don't. That does not mean that I need to heal or I need to go see a therapist. Or it means that I have complete control over my feelings and my emotions. And that's the whole point of even embarking on this journey. So that you're able to process what you see, what you feel, what you think, what you go through. And have some healthy coping mechanisms to help you through the process.
stay on your healing journey and just focus on your path. Especially when you don't know a person, you should not automatically think, oh, well, they're not feeling how I feel in this situation, so something's wrong with them. They need to be in therapy too. That's not at all how this, how this goes. So give the respect, the same respect that you expect from people while you're on your path. And respect the people who have who have already been on their path. Now, one thing I'll never do is I'll never tell somebody, oh, you're too old to start your healing journey. Or you're too old to finally decide that, hey, I want to turn my life around. You know, I'm, I will never say that. But I need you guys to understand that even though you're just getting started, or you may have been on your healing journey for like the last three, four, five, six, seven years, some of us have been on our journey for 20 plus years. Doing the shadow work, taking a step back, reevaluating our situations, um, combing over our thoughts, combing through our feelings to to see how can we make better decisions moving forward. How can I prevent this from happening again in the future? Or what do I need to do to aid in my own development? These are things that I was working on in my early twenties. 22, 23, 24, 25. And I understand that there are people who are just now embarking on that at 40, 50, 60 years old. That is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But you can't be on your journey. Constantly trying to pull people to wherever you are, whether it's up, down, to the left, to the right. You cannot try to pull people in to wherever space that you are because you are supposed to be there. Just you. Going through the journey. Going through the process. With your own thoughts, feelings, and emotions for yourself. Nobody else. So be cool. Take care of yourself. And respect people the same way you want to be respected. 